So in my class, we're working on the chain rule and really all the different derivative functions or derivative methods that we have out there. Students are learning to memorize and learning how to work with a bunch of different ones together. And this is uh, one that, that stumped them just a little bit. So let's see how we would do this derivative. Well, when I first look at this equation, I see an interior function and an exterior function, otherwise known as a composition of functions. So in order to do this, I have to utilize the chain rule. When I start a problem, I get rid of the radical. Easiest way to deal with what you're going to have to end up doing. And I write it like that. So again, when you're new to the chain rule, you learn you have to find ways of learning to do it a little bit longer way until you can see a pattern. So what I've shown my students is I call f the outside function. So in this case, it's going to be x to the 1 half. And g is the inside function, which is e to the minus 5 t squared plus 5. And then I just take the derivative of each of them. f prime equals 1 half x to the minus 1 half using the power rule. And g prime, well, if I look at this function, that's also a composition of functions. So it's minus 5t squared inputted into e to the t. So I have to use the chain rule here in order to get that derivative done. So in like manner, I'm going to use capital F now for the outside function. So capital F is the outside function is e to the t. And then capital G is the inside minus 5t squared. Now F prime is e to the t. It's the easiest one. G prime uses the power rule minus 10t squared. Okay. So what does the chain rule say? The chain rule says I take F prime. I always leave it blank right there. F prime times G prime. And I'm using parentheses uh, because that's a negative sign. So F prime times G prime. And then this space here is for the original G minus 5t squared. Okay. So that can be simplified, but I'm not going to worry about simplifying it right now. Okay. Now I know I used x's here as these should be t's, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't really matter right at this point. Now if I'm going to do dy dt, I follow the same rule for the chain rule. I take the outside derivative, 1 half to the minus 1 half, and then I multiply times the inside derivative, which is, if I simplify this, it's going to be minus 10t e to the minus 5t squared. Let me put a little line here so we can keep that separated. So f prime, g prime, and then of course what goes inside here was the original g, e to the minus 5t squared plus 5. Wait, is anybody wondering where that plus 5 went? Well, that plus 5 is a constant and the derivative of a constant is 0. So you can think of like adding 0 there on the end. Now that's just the calculus done. The derivative is completed. It can be simplified though. So the 1 half and the 10 simplifies to minus 5. The t comes along, e to the minus 5t squared. And since that's a negative right there, that whole term drops to the bottom, e to the minus 5t squared plus 5 to the 1 half. And of course, depending on your teacher or whatever, you can write that as a square root symbol and that's fine as well.